All right, in this video, I'm just going to talk about finding the maximum or minimum of a quadratic. And the basic idea um, for your quadratic ax squared, ax squared plus bx plus c, if a is greater than 0, the y coordinate of the vertex is going to be a minimum. And that makes sense because if a is greater than 0, it's opening up. So that vertex is going to be a smallest value. If a is less than 0, it's going to be a maximum. Again, because, you know, then it's opening downward, so you're going to have a highest point. And remember, to find the vertex, we can use the formula negative b over 2a, f of negative b over 2a. So that's really all I'm going to do on these examples, is just kind of uh, use those two observations. So in the first case, uh, we've got uh, negative 3 times the quantity x plus 1 fourth squared plus 5. Notice this is in our vertex form, a times x minus h squared plus k. Since our a is negative, I already know it's opening downwards, which means I have to have a maximum value. And the maximum value is just the y-coordinate of the vertex, but the y-coordinate of the vertex is whatever number is hanging out. So in this case, just by knowing vertex form, um, I'll recognize that this has a maximum value of 5. All right, um, so part B here, we've got 2x squared plus 16x. Since this opens uh, upwards, because again, the a value here is positive, I know that we're going to have a minimum value. Okay, well to find it, I'm just going to use my formula, negative b over 2a. So I'll take negative b, which will be 16, over 2 times a, which is 2. So that's negative 16 over 4, which will give us negative 4. And if we plug that in to get the y value, it says g of negative 4 is going to be 2 times negative 4 squared plus 16 times negative 4. Well, let's see. Um, negative 4 squared is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Um, 16 times 4 um, is going to be a negative 64. And 32 minus 64 is going to be negative 32. So it says, in this case, our minimum value will be negative 32. Okay, so one more here. We've got 7x squared plus 4x minus 1. Okay, so for this one, for the negative 7x squared plus 4x minus 1, I know that that's going to have a maximum value. Again, the leading coefficient, a, is negative, so I know it's opening downwards, which means it's going to have a maximum. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'll take my negative b, which is positive 4, over 2 times a, which is negative 7. And let's see, that's going to give us a positive um, 2 over 7, I believe, after we simplify. So in this case, um, again, this is the x-coordinate. And I should be careful. This is not the max value. This is the x-coordinate. I think I said it correctly, but it kind of ended up looking like I was writing and saying it was a maximum value. So to get the max value, again, that's the y-coordinate we get out when we plug in our x-coordinate of 2 sevenths. So I have to plug it into my h function here. So that was negative 7 times 2 sevenths squared plus 4 times 2 over 7. Uh, minus 1. So a lot of little fractions uh, going on here. That's okay. So let's see, this is negative 7. We'll get 4 over 49 when we square those. It looks like we get positive 8 over 7. Um, I'm going to write 1 as 7 over 7, just so I can subtract those two. Notice 7 will go into 49 7 times. So this is actually negative 4 sevenths plus 8 sevenths minus 7 sevenths. Well, we do the arithmetic in the numerator. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4. 4 minus 7 is going to be negative 3. So I'm getting this to be the maximum value. It says the biggest y value that you're ever going to hit is going to be the value negative 3 sevenths.